OK, so for record, uh, all students are here. So we today look at chapter four. OK. So chapter four, we're going to uh, look at viscous flow. Eh? Viscous flow. Um, OK. So what is inside chapter four? Uh, we'll look at four uh, important things. One is uh, we need to identify the type of flow inside the, our our apparatus. Reynolds num experiment experiment will be covered in uh, chapter three. So there's a video showing you the the, the, the water pipe and the dye. So if you haven't watched the YouTube video, then uh, you can go and watch it later. So and then uh, there are some calculation to look at a laminar flow in a circular pipe and laminar flow between two parallel stationary plates. So these are the, the things that we're going to cover. All right. So look at your question number one, eh? chapter four, number one. So um, before we start, you need to know that um, um, to define our flow, we need to look at uh, our reference uh, coordinates. Eh? So there are two format. One is Cartesian coordinates, which is X and Y. And then another one is cylindrical coordinates, which give you by the R and the theta. All right. So um, to define our um, four dimensional, for two dimensional flow, we only look at <coughs> the X component, which is given by U, the velocity in U, uh, in the uh, the velocity in x direction with is given by u, small u, and the y component is given by v equal to uh, what is changed in y direction. Cylindrical, a little bit different from the format uh, used for Cartesian. If you want to define our velocity in the radius direction, then we we'll write our uh, differential equation like this way. All right, and another one is our direction theta v in theta direction or angle equal to one over r and uh, the changes of the uh, theta. So these are the two main um, uh, reference plane that uh, will be used in this chapter. Okay, but however, uh, for this module, uh, we will focus on the Cartesian plane. All right. So um, on the on your handouts there, um, you will see these two diagram, and the phi here, phi phi symbol here is the velocity potential. Huh? It's the velocity potential. So just as a note, uh, this phi or this phi symbol here is the velocity potential. Right. So um, on the top. On the top diagram here, you have x and y axis. So you know that your absolute velocity you can break into x and y axis, and um, you can define using the equation that we see just now. Okay, same with the uh, uh, cylindrical coordinates. All right, uh, look at the cylindrical coordinate, you will see that um, your absolute velocity can break into two. And the direction of your R is always parallel to the R. Huh? This direction, this arrow, always parallel to the R from the origin, parallel. Huh? And this one is uh, the V theta is always 90 degree, always 90 degree to the R. So just let you know, these are some of the general understanding when you want to use uh, this this formula. All right, now we start to look at uh, a stream function for uh, for inside the plane, uh, 2D plane, all right? Uh, for x, y, how are we going to write them? So um, on the left, it's just a definition of velocity uh, in the term of uh, velocity potential. And you can write your stream function in this way, where your u equal to, this is also another pi. So this symbol, this symbol, 
right? This symbol is a stream function, right? This function is stream function. So v u equal to this form, v equal to negative, right? So be careful when you, when you want to use stream function, uh, your v component come with a negative, right? And for the cylindrical coordinate in the stream function format, also you change the the pi into uh, another phi, uh, another symbol here. Okay, so also negative for the uh, theta component. So these are the general understanding when we start want to start to uh, study about uh, flow. Huh? In chapter one, uh, you you in chapter one is more simpler where we straight away give you a, a velocity do domain and then you 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 stream function out. In this one, we will so, develop uh, yes. Uh, for the stream tank uh, from the stream function, mm. you say u u is the not the uh, uh, u is the velocity. Yeah, yeah. U yeah. So it it, it is uh, x right. Yeah, so these two actually the same. It's only uh, the term that we use is different. Means uh, you see the the but, if you but use they have, they have a y. Yeah, so if you want to use the stream function, is okay. referred to the y. Yeah, correct. Mm -hmm. uh, so you see there's a difference if you change the uh, the domain that you you're focusing on. So on the left is on the phi, which is if you focus on velocity potential then uh, you will follow the normal uh, reference reference direction. But for the stream, it's uh, inverted. Means uh, for the U, you, you, for the U component, you won't see X here. You'll see Y instead. And for the V, you will see X instead of Y and with the negative. So for the uh, cylindrical coordinate, also same. It's an inverted, uh, it's an inverted uh, format. Uh, where is you see the VR, V sub R equal to 1 over R, del, uh, this uh, symbol, uh, divided by del theta. So it's uh, inverted with the uh, synergical coordinate on the left here. So just take note, okay? So just take note, uh, you need to be careful when, when, you, when you're told or you want to convert into a uh, different dimension that you are focusing on. One is in the velocity potential, uh, uh, dimension, which is on the left. One is on the strain function on the right. Yeah, so don't confuse because later on we need to use this one to uh, to develop the the whole uh, stream function. Later we need to integrate and all this. So uh, be careful um, when when you when you want to choose which one of these. All right. So these are the main. Uh, general idea uh, when we study about uh, flow. OK. The next one is uh, on the rotational, uh, e-rotational flow means uh, uh, with a flow without rotation means it's a constant flow. Right? Textbook definition is just used a very bombastic word. Uh, e-rotational means it's, it's a steady flow. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, do not have rotational means it's a straight line here. So um, for a steady flow or for e-rotational flow or for uniform flow, right? It is in this uh, diagram that you have on the on the tutorial sheet here, because this flow is uh, along x-axis, so we only have x-axis component, and the vw is zero. Uh, so when you want to solve question for chapter four, always refer to the uh, primary reference axis that you use, all right? And if you have uh, e-rotational flow, this this equation we're going to use means that del u divided by del y equal to uh, del v divided by del x. We're going to use this equation for e-rotational flow, all right? So if you write in the term of stream function, which is referred to uh, the, the, the last page that we see just now, all right? You just substitute uh, this, this term into this term, 
right? Because just now we do what is u, right? Uh, so we just uh, convert the definition in the string function, substitute inside this one, you get this equation. Okay. On the top is a normal uh, relationship for E rotational flow in the term of U and XY, U, V, XY. The bottom one is defined in the term of stream function where you see the symbol of stream function here. This is this is a stream function. Right. Then um, it, this is the next line is just a simplification of mathematics uh, statement. So you have double del, uh, del y here, it means it become this one. This one, double, double del. So this symbol is called partial differential, means very, very small changes, huh? very, very small changes. So you have double this one, then you get a square. Then on the right hand side, this one, also you have double x. Uh, then this is on the right hand side, negative, you pull to the left, you get positive uh, term. Then on the right hand side, you don't have anything, you have zero. So you have a, a function that have developed from UVXY uh, relationship into uh, stream function, differential format. Okay. All right. So this is just a, a definition of the streamline, a general idea. So let's say we refer to the middle center point, uh, center line velocity. So um, if you have a streamline that in the uh, acceleration uh, motion, then your del, uh, del streamline means the change of your streamline will be converging, will be um, the distance between the, these two uh, streamline will be decreasing means the distance will be decreasing it also means that your stream or your flow is accelerating there's a change of velocity from one point to another point while if your flow is another opposite direction like this one you will see that the flow is from the right to left and the distance between the line is increasing then it means that your flow is decelerate means it start to slow down so this this two diagram is about the streamline uh, streamwise uh, uh, definition if you want to illustrate it to the end user means uh, you know how to how to write out the formula but uh, at the end you still need to illustrate and explain it to your uh, customer uh, or on the software uh, simulation software you see all these things so you will see that uh, when you have a two very close line and the distance become together, then you will see, then in your report, you can say that uh, the flow is accelerated at a certain section. This is uh, just a uh, illustration for the mathematic model. Okay, so um, do not have any complex uh, things yet. So we, st we look at uniform flow first. Huh? Uniform flow first. So what are the characteristics? Huh? What are characteristics? This is question two. What are the characteristics? So uh, there are two. So if you look at the diagram on the handouts, uh, on the left-hand diagram, you see all the streamlines are straight and parallel. If you have a uniform flow, the first uh, observation that you see or illustration that you draw uh, to claim that uh, you're having a uniform flow is that you draw the line straight and parallel and the magnitude of the velocity is constant I mean the u magnitude is same along x-axis means it do not go up it do not go down it's just a very straight line so these are the observation you want to define uh, using illustration uh, we will use straight line. Okay. So if you write in the um, uh, velocity potential equation, u equal to big U, 
if you look at the diagram, you, uh, your U component is big U. So if you write in the potential, uh, velocity potential uh, term, you have a del phi divided by del x, you have a big U. But for your y component, you don't have any y component, so you have zero for y component. So for uniform flow in a two-dimensional, uh, it depends. Sometimes your, if your arrow pointing up, then this one will become uh, have value here. Then this one becomes zero. So this is very straightforward. So if you have an angle, angle velocity, means your, your u have a certain angle referring to x and y, then you need to change the, the velocity into x-axis and y-axis. Means you, 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 you break the absolute velocity into x and y component like what you did in mathematics uh, chapter, okay? So you integrate, you integrate, uh, for example, you integrate this one zero, so you don't have anything, but you integrate this on the left-hand side, you integrate, uh, how you integrate, before you integrate, you pull your uh, del x to the right. Uh, you, when one you want to uh, integrate the differential equation, you pull one of the uh, term bottom, in the equation to the right. So right hand side you integrate uh, along x axis, uh, left hand side you integrate along the uh, uh, velocity potential. So if you integrate this uh, differentiate equation, you will get something divided by uh, something equal to ux because uh, you integrate you, pl you plus an x plus a constant value. And to define the constant value, you need to use the boundary layer condition, uh, like uh, at, at a certain coordinate, what is the value for? At x, what is the value, uh, uh, the, the velocity at a certain x coordinate, what is the value, then you will get the, the value of the constant value, okay? So uh, just a note, if you have a uniform flow, that is a long x-axis uh, or textbook uh, statement, they will use a positive x-direction, which is a long x-axis right to the right. Your constant value will be equal to zero. Right, just, just for information. Um, and then you change the velocity, uh, potential velocity term into, write, you can write your u and v in a streamline function. Right? Just recall what is the uh, velocity function, uh, the streamline, uh, stream function uh, definition for u and v. Again, the u and v is different from, from the Cartesian plane, uh, from the uh, velocity potential definition. Uh. So for u is del y rather than del x, v is negative del x. Uh. So you combine and then you do integration. You'll get, because our v direction we don't have, so we only look at u component. So you also integrate, so it means you pull your del y to the left. All right, you pull your del y to the left, you get u del y and del phi or del stream function. You integrate it, you'll get this function. Of course, plus C, but for uniform flow, we don't have C. Yeah? Okay, so this is just a, a, a normal introduction to mathematic model when we want to start, when we want to define what is the uniform flow. Okay, or uh, based on your calculation, you explain uh, what, based on the calculation or based on the number, based on the equation format or structure that you see on, the, on your answer, you can say that, Based on this equation, I have a uniform flow inside the pipe or inside the system. Okay. So these are the, the general introduction to the, the, the way of the mathematics uh, statement to tell you what is happening inside the system when you have a uniform flow. Okay. I think this is the okay. Now this is just a, a another further explanation. What happens if you have a 
on the right hand uh, side diagram on your handouts, you'll see there's an anger, uh, which also have a uniform flow, but with the anger. All right. So you have um, this format. Huh? So just copy this this uh, equation for for a velocity component with the anger reference to the x axis. So for the phi, for the velocity vector component, a uh, potential velocity pot potential phi, you have u times x cos alpha plus y sine alpha. This is the the derivation from the diagram here, All right? And for the stream function, you have u times y cos alpha minus x sine alpha. Okay, how we derive this one, I won't go deep because it will take a lot of time to go into detail. But uh, the principle is we derive from the diagram here. Uh, you break your u into x and y, and then you do the similar procedure that we did for the uh, horizontal flow just now. Okay. Okay, so this is the equation for um, uniform flow. On the left is for the um, flow along axis. This is along, these two equation is for flow along x axis, then you get this one. What happened if the flow is along y axis, then the, these two are inverted. Huh? So you have to know um, the principle behind how we derive these two equations just now. Okay, we continue with question number three. We start look at uh, sink and source, which is uh, from the word itself, you know what is source, what is sink. So we look at this diagram. So this diagram, we have uh, again reference plane x, y. And then we have a center point of our flow. And we have a direction either is coming out or coming uh, pointing in. Huh? So we have a VR because this is in the cylindrical uh, coordinate. So imagine you have a water sink and then you a basin and then you open water. The water will either uh, the the water will, will will you have a cylindrical motion and then you flow inside the sink, right? So uh, if you uh, if your hose is in the middle of the uh, hole and then you open the hose, the, the water will sprinkle out. So it's, it's different. Huh? So for to develop an uh, uh, equation for the source, we use this uh, simplified diagram. So we have x and y, and then we are using uh, r and theta to uh, define. Huh? Our stream's magnitude is constant. Our velocity potential is constant also. So you see the red line, the red line represents streamline, stream function. The dash dot line represent the velocity potential component. And then we have um, uh, vel absolute velocity, R. And this is the uh, distance from the source or sink to the um, velocity uh, potential. So how do we derive? Huh? How we derive? We look at a mass, a very small mass. Let m be the, uh, let m be the uh, volume rate of the flow. So conservation of mass equal to m equal 2 pi r vr means uh, the 2 pi r is our uh, circumference with this one, 2 pi r, times the velocity uh, vector, we get our uh, volume flow rate. Right? M, in this case, is not mass, it's just uh, volume flow rate. Huh? Volume flow rate. 
uh, by using R and uh, VR. Then you rearrange the equation. You have V sub R equal to M divided by 2 pi R. Right? Circumference times velocity, you get volume flow rate. Huh? So, since the flow is radical flow, we don't have flow in the angle uh, component. So, we have V theta equal to zero. Right? Because we, our, our flow is a long radial component. So we don't have component in the theta component. Okay. Then you integrate, you put in the velocity uh, potential term, like, like what we defined in our first slide just now. So VR equal to del velocity potential divided by del R, you'll get uh, equal to M divided by 2 pi r. And for the theta component, equal to 1 divided by r del uh, velocity potential divided by del theta equal to 0. This is for a very simple flow that only uh, in this behavior along the radial, uh, radial uh, component, in the r component. Uh. So that's why we don't have anything on the theta uh, component. Then this one, integrate this one, means you integrate del r you pull to the right. So you del, uh, you integrate, integrate. At the end, you will get m divided by 2 pi ln r. Because something 1 divided by r, you integrate 1 something you will get long. M divided by 2 pi is the constant value. That's why we can factor it out. Okay. So just uh, as a note for this uh, equation, if your velocity potential is positive, if your, if your, uh, or you look at the M, which is your volume flow rate. M is not mass, huh? again. Huh? M in this slide it tell you that is a uh, volume flow rate. If the positive, if your M is positive, the flow is like what we see on the screen here. It's going in the radial, uh, in the radial uh, direction. This kind of flow we call it source. If you have an M positive, then we have a source flow. Huh? We have a source flow. And then if you have a negative, then we have a sink flow. So another note is that uh, the flow rate M is the strength is a strength or the magnitude of the sink or source. Okay, so far um, um, we still look at a very simple definition, which is the sink and the source. So I'll give you some time to uh, copy down. Okay. So this, import, uh, this equation is important uh, for this chapter, which is your velocity potential equal to m divided by 2 pi ln r. We look at the m, then we know that it is, it is a source or it's a sink. Okay. 
Let's look at one editorial question. Eh? So um, this is just a further explanation from this equation. If you look at this equation, potential uh, velocity potential equal to m divided divided by two pi ln r. All right. So if you plot the the graph, if you plot vr versus r, all right, you'll get this equation one over r. All right. So how you get this 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 one is that you go back to this equation. All right, go back to this equation. Vr equal to m divided by two pi r. So if you plot Vr versus r, you will get this graph. So at the origin here, we don't have any value, right? So you, uh, it's not that we don't have any value, but you see that the graph is do not touch the uh, VR uh, axis. Means that it, it will be become a infinity uh, value at as it's near to a very small amount of R. All right, but however, mathematics uh, in the real life is 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 not possible. Lah. So we don't we must have a velocity at at the center of the R here. Right, this is just a mathematics model because we are using mathematics model. So when you simulate something that near to the center, you will get uh, uh, the software will tell you not able to run because it's near to infinity value. Right. OK. All right, this is just an explanation of uh, this equation. It means that mathematics they will tell you there is no value. Uh, 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 rephrase uh, they, they as your r near to the zero, you will have an infinity value for your um, vr component. Okay. So this one is uh, put everything in the stream function. Put everything in the stream function. So VR equal to one over R del your stream function divided by del theta equal to M divided by two pi. Again, M is not mass, M is a volume flow rate. V theta equal to del phi del, uh, divided by del R equal to zero because uh, the, the diagram that we use do not have theta component. Then you integrate, you integrate Meaning, if you pull one over r to the right, one over r pull to the right, you have r, so you cancel the r for the right hand component. Then you pull the del theta to the right. You integrate. You will get two. Uh, you will get m divided by two pi theta. This is the definition for your streamline. And this equation just is just meaning that your streamline is uh, is along the radial line. So if you see this kind of pattern in your answer, it means that uh, you can refer to this diagram, meaning that uh, your streamline is along, is going out, huh? is going out, like what you see under this diagram. So it means the red arrow is following the dot line here, is going out. Huh? And why going out? Because M is positive. OK, I think uh, we have a short break uh, before we look at example number four. Okay, let me stop the recording.